Tim, after such a good feeling on the back of Tuesday, you must be disappointed with this afternoon. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Listen, yeah, it was a good feeling because we won a game and, and we worked hard. Now, listen, everything that could go wrong went wrong um, in terms of we lose, obviously, um, Ben, ben Richards Everton in the warm up. <laughs> like, um, so we made up. Listen, I thought he was outstanding, Cafellas, to be fair to him. I thought he was different class today. I don't think a kid won an header against him. Um, he's got pace. So, listen, I had, I had a pop at him at Dover and, and boshed him at half time, but he's not sulked. He's trained properly. He's a, he's a proper lad. I like him. So he did well. You know, Liam, to be fair, if anyone could come off, Liam could have come off. I mean, he, he's got a right whack. I think it was off our own goalie. Um, obviously, we lose Jerome then. Um, it's it is what it is. What call cry it in? Why not? You know, what I mean. So everything that went wrong or went wrong or could go wrong went wrong. So yeah, really disappointed. It looked a stick on nil nil. You know, scrappy, windy ball weren't on the deck much um, typical listen if you watch nine out of the ten games today or whatever there is they'll, they'll all be like that in this division but uh, we find a way to concede two absolutely minging goals minging set play again alright the first one you know we said whoever plays on the left hand side for them is right footed so don't let him come inside on his right foot for obvious reasons hey presto in, inside he comes and bends one in um, they've only got one left footer in their team and he's a centre half um, and then we concede a free kick there obviously I'm stood here I can't see where it bounces God only knows how it, it gets parried onto the post it's just, it's just like are you sure? are you sure? you know it's just we, listen we need to do better we need to do better in the end you can only you can only beat a dog so much you know I mean I've had my say on a number of occasions we need some players. <laughs> we need some players. So, um, you yeah, know, we'll, um, we'll. I think we're going to have some serious doubts on one or two for Tuesday night. Um, obviously, Petrasu come off because he was injured. He needed to come off. He put his hand up. So Michael will be receiving treatment for the next 48 hours, and we'll have a have a look at him on Tuesday at morning. Obviously, before we go. Um, so listen, we, we are going to be absolute bare bones on Tuesday night. So let's let's see. It was it a case that we never really managed to get going in the end. We just couldn't amount any pressure on on that woking back line. Yeah, I'd agree, I I wouldn't disagree with you. I'd I'd say that the front three that worked their socks off on Tuesday night didn't get to them heights today. Listen, and that's. Listen, if they don't like it, whatever, I don't really care. But that's the truth. That's the truth. Um, the fact is that, that they never gave the Halifax back lads a second on the ball. And as I say, you pressure players in this league, they give you the ball, right? So we, didn't, we never got to them quick enough. We never penetrated behind them and made them run back the big juggernauts at the back. And we didn't make them run back towards their own goal, which they don't like doing. I've watched the tapes. You know, I spent three hours a day watching them and... I know what I want them to do and it just looked like legs wise they couldn't get there they just couldn't get there today so that was disappointing because I thought if we'd have got obviously there's a wind so we were kicking against that in the first half you know, and take a poor goal out of it I just took nil nil at half time and then take the win second half and pin them in and peg them in and, and, and sustain attacks and legs wise I, I didn't think we could get there to be honest with you um, obviously Xander Harry was suspended so Xander came back in he's not played I think since Hartlepool here after the Woking away game uh, earlier in the season in November did his hamstring here in the Hartlepool game and so that's his first 60 minutes back in he's been training now for probably I don't know 10 days so got to be a little bit careful with him which was another reason why Efron came on so yeah listen a lot a lot to think about. Um, listen, with the, with the way the way the um, decisions of the league etc have come out now, um, and the vote etc, you know we got we got some big decisions to make. In my opinion, we've got some big decisions to make. You know, if we're either gonna we're either gonna step on the gas or what, or we're not. You know, was it a case of I don't know? It just seemed we seemed a bit leggy, particularly as the game went on. Is it about now trying to recover for yeah, Tuesday night 100%. and then going there with maximum energy? Yeah, listen, I, obviously they, they played on the Tuesday, had the Wednesday off. Um, we did this, I, I did a session on Thursday. It was the session was low on quality, 
if I'm honest. Um, and I think they were absolutely beat. In hindsight, maybe I should have just let the, the, the lads who've done the lion's share recover. Some of them wanted to train. You know, I, listen, I, I was in two minds whether to change the team today, but, you know, you change it after such a good performance, harsh on, you know, so it was an enforced change, obviously, Xander for, for Harry. Um, so, listen, yeah, they look leggy to me. They look leggy. And that's, I, make, I ain't making excuses for them because the two goals are pony, absolutely mm. minging. You know, so that, take all that out of it, we've still got beat by, and I, you can always say the goals are poor when you concede them, but listen, they are, they are. Um, and I said to you, it looked, looked like I had nil-nil written all over it to me. It was a scrappy, windy, typical windy day game, you know, ball blowing everywhere. Um, and we find a way not to pick a point up, like we did against Altrinham, you know, like, like we've done on one or two occasions. You know, if, there's, if, if you have to take a point, take a point. Don't disrespect a point in football. But, um, you know, listen, I'm, I'm disappointed because I didn't think we reached the heights. Now, sometimes you ain't going to play with that kind of energy, but you've got to tough out a result, you know, but it's, you know, it's what it is. So I've got to now move on.